You're watching Friday Night Hits. Welcome to Serene. Let's go! <laughs> Second game in five days for Greenville. They played Monday. Now it's Friday at historic Serene Stadium against Berea. Homecoming for the Red Raiders. They put on a show up 21 0 in the first. Thomas Edmondson getting home to drop the QB on the next Greenville possession. Bryson Drummond, Tyler Brown. That's what shoulder shrugs are for. Red Raiders absolutely rolling. And check this one out our USC Upstate Play of the Week, Luke Crawl. Stacked up toward the sideline. No big deal. We'll find another way around. He comes all the way back across the field for the Red Raiders touchdown. All Greenville, 85 to nothing over Berea. All right, let's keep it rolling. Week seven of Friday Night Hits. Burns open the year 5-0, and but the Rebels have lost their last two. One on the final play of the game and aiming to bounce back against Boiling Springs. Both of the Bulldogs wins on the road this year. Traveled to Duncan tonight. Great crowd. Burns up 13 to nothing in the third. Boiling Springs with the ball. That's Cam Williams. He's a running back. Bulldogs go deep in the bag. He's chucking it deep to Zy Landrum. Boiling Springs, how about it? 13 to 7 Burns, but after a Rebels field goal, Colby Shaw connects with Cameron Prysock. All Burns from there, 30 to 7 on Friday night. Blue Ridge at Broome. Centurions have won their last three. The Tigers had their biggest one of the year before last week's bye. Broome with the ball first. Zion Wilkins right on the doorstep. He's busting on in. Centurions score first, 7 0 when Blue Ridge replies. Bryson Wyatt. Says tacklers, no thanks. Dragon defenders in to even the game, but Wilkins is loose again, and Broom gets the 49 to 28 win. Get to the choppa. South side at red, eyes in the sky, big old moon, no score, no score, no longer. Trayvon West, go west, young man. Touchdown, red, and they'd get the two point conversion. Led 8 0. Tigers backed up now, and they are punting, but Wren comes up with a stuffage. They get the ball back in good field position, and you know that they would capitalize. Mason Holtzclaw hooking up with Braden Binnaker, 54-7, Wren over Southside. Belton Honey and Pass shaking off their first loss of the season last Thursday, setting their sights on Palmetto. The Mustangs won their season opener, have since lost five straight, the last two by six points or less. No score in the first, but BHP with the ball. Marquise Henderson. To the corner store, 7 0 BHP. Now it's 14 0 Bears. Luke Dobbins going deep to Wyatt Winner. But with a name like that, you know how that play ends. Palmetto strikes, cuts the lead to seven, but now it is a 14 10 game. Palmetto kicking to Nevada Billups. And Billups is blasting off. Takes the kick return 75 yards to the timeshare. BHP 63 to 10. Riverside and Lawrence both 1-0 in 4A Region 2. Winner here has the top spot in the standings all to themselves. History as well, the 600th game in Lawrence history. The fourth quarter, that's Riverside. Rob Sanders dropping a dime to Caden Cosby. That is a big old play right there. And Riverside's cooking a couple plays later. Sanders, he'll do it himself. Ties the game at 14. Lawrence has the ball, but after an interception, Riverside's Joshua Clark would drill a 35-yard field goal. And the Warriors win it 17 to 14. Short trip for Greer down to Taylor's east side seeking just their sixth all time win against the Yellow Jackets. But this one was all Greer. They were up 27 nothing at the half. Packing on Josh Runyon working the screen game to Ladanian Martin. Martin, he's got a head of steam. Grass to cleave. We sped that one up a little bit. That's okay. 35, 34 nothing Greer. They'd put more points on the board and they win this one 55 to 7. That's it and that's all for week seven of Friday Night Hits. We'll see you next week. Same time, same place. Have a great weekend.